Greetings, warriors of Christ, and welcome back to the last episode of our glorious Reconquista. Now, I took um, a good few turns since we, um, since the last episode. Not a good few turns, uh, because nothing really much uh, happened, but I just consolidated my power, saved up some shekels right there, uh, and, uh, you know, had a few more is here to deal with but there was no epic battles and uh, that uh, that you missed actually so i just thought to to not film that so we can have this this last episode to reflect upon things so what i'm gonna do first and foremost um, as someone commented in the last episode quite Right in that this area stood out as a sore spot. So uh, we're gonna do it like this now. Boom. And it actually has costed us 2,000 shekels right there to colonize. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize that. I thought it would be much more expensive. Oh well, uh, we can build fun stuff with it. Now we have all of Spain except for this little Girona. So I'm just gonna roll up there and do that right now. Boom. Boom. And boom. And there we are. The uh, the Reconquista is complete. Uh, maybe a bit of a, an anti-climax there, but um, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I could probably go up here and take Ugrel. Now you see here, seven turns left. And that is seven turns until I get um, this at 35 uh, plus Imperium points. Um, By wits and words are yours. Which uh, will then ensure uh, our victory, basically. So that is uh, that is what's up in all actuality. Now we can obviously convert a few things here, and um, I'm gonna take the, the turn there and just um, yeah talk and reflect upon things. Uh, really nice campaign this uh, has been actually. Obviously very much in line with. Um, current happenings in um, Mother Europa with um, you know a rapid uh, demographic um, transformation of Europe which is uh, very disturbing because um, failed economic policies etc you can uh, you can revert within a generation uh, but when we're talking about uh, Demographic issues. It's not that easy to um, to reverse. Uh, so that's obviously highly blasphemous. And uh, thus, it was um, a righteous thing to commence this epic campaign. And uh, you know. As an historic game, uh, I think it's um, it's important to, to learn about these epic battles. Oh, look at that! They have um, a good few arms there. Maybe they maybe they can actually fight with us there. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna take the turn. Uh, again here, so we actually get to um, to the end there. So we, so we get the victory. I suppose we do at least. I think that is enough for uh, the kingdom of Asturias to just take to retake Iberia. Uh, but yeah, as I was gonna say, uh, having these historical games uh, very in important to. Um, Teach out history, I suppose, in a fun way. Uh, I know some traditionalist-minded uh, guys, especially older guys, have uh, a bit of a, an aversion towards gaming, and um, 
yes, some some part of gaming obviously can be quite uh, bad, um, especially kind of grinding games without much of a history behind them. And obviously, gaming can be too much, but gaming can also bring. Bring out the best in you, if uh, no, but um, you know, with um, with a good teacher of history, at least. So um, if you if you pick the right games, uh, it's a very good and glorious thing indeed. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna utilize a little edit right here. And um, so we get closer to the to, to the last turn, and then I'm just gonna take that. So be right back. All right, I utilized edit there. So two turns left, and then I uh, suppose we will win. I'm not sure, um, but that will at least conclude the um, this glorious campaign. And as you see, we have all of Spain there, and that's uh, the reason for that. Uh, now, I wanted to ask you all, what do you want the next Let's Play campaign to be? And also, as I said before, that I do Let's Play videos does in no way, shape or form mean that I do less of any other videos. It just means that I have more videos in total. Uh, so it's not that I decide, oh, now I'm gonna make this really cool political video or this really cool uh, training video uh, that I skip doing those because I'm gonna do a let's play. That's not the case. Uh, this is like my gaming time uh, also, it's just that I talk and make a, a video out of it Ready for, uh, for anyone who wants so to uh, just, you know, chill watch that or um, Listen to it a bit. Uh, so uh, I just want to have that said. It, they're not like competing with each other. Um, those two different um, genres of videos. All right, cool. Let's take the turn there and see if we actually win now. Otherwise, um, I suppose. I'll just have to proclaim victory either way. Uh, but yeah, comment below uh, what what do you want to see. Uh, it can be another game, perhaps some Age of Empires 2. Maybe do one of those campaigns. That would be six episodes uh, each, I suppose. Okay, no, we didn't actually win. Um, now. Uh, but, um, I suppose... This will have to be the, the end of uh, the episode, either way. Uh, thank you very much for watching and commenting and listening, etc. So, um, drop a comment below what you want to see next. Uh, it can be a different Total War campaign, it can be a different game, it can be uh, whatever really. So, glory to the brave Spanish and Portuguese men who reclaim their land after several centuries of um, oppression and may we all draw strength from them highly inspiring tale and i suggest that everyone read up of the history of the um, iberian peoples who fought back against the southern muslim invaders and who am i i'm the warrior of christ xxo boom